let's face it, we're over in the East End of London, and if you were to put an exhibition on Lego together, where would you put it? Yes, you'd put it in Brick Lane, which is quite funny and quite a coincidence, because they have. So welcome to the Boiler House, just off Brick Lane, here in this building, and we bring you the art of the brick. So the exhibition has just opened at the beginning of March 2024. We're not quite sure how long it's on for, but you can get your tickets to get down here. Now, all of these different sculptures have been put together by one man. And what's absolutely incredible about it is every single sculpture that you see has been put together using standard Lego bricks, which is quite incredible, that globe, because making anything round from Lego or looking round is quite something. And how about this hand just holding that piece of Lego in it? So every single sculpture has got standard Lego bricks in it, which means it's attainable by everyone. And even the pencil agrees. So we're going to bring you some of the many sculptures that have been put together. Now there's well over a hundred of them and to get around takes a good hour at least. It's on different floors so just be aware of that because there aren't facilities to get up to the first floor. So if you're coming and need accessibility requirements, it's something you must consider first. So many of the sculptures are life-size, just like this man sitting here with his skulls, which is a slightly frightening. But it's also, there's great places as well to grab a good old selfie. And a massive thank you to this lady who decided she was gonna be in our video just for the selfie purposes. Thank you. Some have got extra effects like the lighting around this one for this one, which is called Swimmer, as you can see, which actually looks very, very effective. So this is the one that's being used in a lot of the promotional material, which is really, really effective, all in one color, and again, using standard Lego bricks. Now, by the side of each sculpture, it tells you a little bit about it, but it also tells you how many bricks were used. Yes, 11,000 in this piece alone, which is quite incredible. Now, the exhibition as a whole has been to over 100 cities in 24 countries. So coming to London, it was London's turn to grab it. Now, the exhibit immerses the visitor in a cheerful and colorful world. It certainly does. Just look at some of the colors that we've seen so far. And I just love these traffic lights with the different, uh, different faces in them. Now, I'm a massive Lego fan, so this sort of exhibition was always gonna be a hit with me. But taking it on a sort of a neutral basis, I can tell you it's one of these places that when you go into, you're automatically in hit and you think, wow, as you go through the door. But as you see each of the sections after, you can't help but be impressed with the different Lego designs that they've built. And you'll see that as you go through the video because I've done it in order. But once again, I haven't featured everything because if you're coming down here, I wanna leave some surprises for you. There's some spectacular things to come. Also, as you go round, there are different video clips featuring the creator of all of these models, why he did it, how he started, and some of the difficulties that he's faced in building some of the models. So as you can see here, you've got a video clip playing and there are benches all set up so you can sit back and enjoy the video clips as you go as well. Isn't that hand impressive? And it just gives you an idea with that guy standing behind it, the scale of it as well. So you go so in something like this that looks almost 2D with just a couple of layers sticking out to this which is in 3D which looks really impressive using the shadow behind as well to make it look like these arms are coming out and holding this person back. Okay, let's go back to some art now and how about this self-portrait of Rembrandt? Plus, we've got more amazing paintings to come. Plus, also, how about these statues as well? Yes, most of which you'll recognize from ancient history. Done in a Lego style. So if you're getting a taster for it and you're thinking, actually, I want to know more about it. Actually, I fancy coming down here. Then the opening hours is open every day apart from Tuesdays. It opens at 10 o'clock every day and Monday, Wednesdays, Thursdays. And also on Sundays, it's open till eight o'clock. And Fridays and Saturdays, it's open till nine o'clock at night. So you've got plenty of time to come down here, especially if you're thinking of bringing family down, plenty of time to come down after school as well.
Now they estimate it's gonna take you about an hour to get round. I think it also is gonna depend on how busy it is because in some of the areas, some people just do hang around a lot more, especially to see things like this from the Sistine Chapel or alternatively the Mona Lisa, where you just really wanna stare and look at it because you just can't believe you're looking at Lego and how well it's done with the standard pieces. So for me, it took a good hour, but then again, I was filming as well. So do it lay allow at least an hour for it. As I said right at the beginning, it's right on Brick Lane, right in the middle of Brick Lane, and it's right underneath where the Truman Brewery used to be. Yep, that big chimney. I can also tell you this isn't for kids alone. This is for everybody. In fact, when I came down here, there wasn't a single child in sight. Now, adult tickets start from £15.90 and child tickets start at 11 90 and children under four get in for free. So we go from some amazing statues to this, which is some amazing artwork and portraits. Now, a number of these people are sort of anonymous, so no idea who it is, but they look really, really impressive. And this one, which is almost just like a board with a few Lego pieces on it. Then after this peace sign, we go round. So you've got a Warhol. Then you've got Jimi Hendrix. Don't these look very impressive? Again, standard Lego bricks, Bob Dylan, and then finally on this wall, as a four, Janis Joplin. And by the way, if you entered recently on our community post, they were the four. For me, I absolutely love this area. So you've got a photo here, and as you can see, you've got a bucket made out of Lego, and you've also got a cloud made out of Lego. And in each of the photos, photos we're going to show you, which have been put together by an award-winning photographer called Dean West, you'll see you've got the pieces of Lego in there. So there you go, there's the Lego cloud up there, and then down the bottom of the picture, you've got a cleaner with the bucket and a mop in it. So that is the same with each of the photos, but you've almost got to find where the pieces of Lego are. Now this is a nice easy one. So you've got a gentleman here with a red umbrella and here is the Lego red umbrella. So it's almost like they've superimposed the Lego umbrella back onto the photo. So the next one needs a bit of studying. So there's a nice obvious one, which is the dog, which is in the front there. And you can see a Lego dog in a second. And it's this one, the mannequin. That's the one that's really difficult to find, but it's actually behind the window on the left-hand side there. Yep, just behind the blinds. Wow, but there you go. There's the Lego mannequin. And then of course, where's the dog? We're about to show you the dog in just one second. And yes, it's a life-size dog as well, which is quite incredible. from a life-size Labrador to a railway station out in Petersburg. Can you see the Lego from this? Yes, there it is right in front of you. It's the railway line. And here we have it down below. Now in this one at the swimming pool, we've got two objects. And yes, there you go. There's the blue flip-flops and we've got those in Lego down below, just here. but we've also got this towel drying on the hook as well. And I just love the way the use of Lego just gives the creases in the towel on the wall. <laughs> Remarkable. So for our final picture, we're gonna bring you we're outside the cinema. And any idea what the Lego piece is? Yep, it's the red dress. And just look how the dress is being shattered to pieces there. And here it is with all the Lego pieces being shattered to pieces. Hence, you've got all the wires holding the individual pieces and also holding the dress up as well. Just imagine how heavy that dress is made of Lego. So you go from these amazing sculptures into this room here. Now it's a room which is full of mirrors, so it makes it look absolutely massive. And look, you've got skulls right across all of the shelves, so as you can see right here. And then as they change all of the different colors of the neon, it really makes it stand out beautifully. 
I really hope you're enjoying this video. And if you are, do us a favor, give the video a thumbs up so we can spread this to more people so that they can love London as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go on, you know the button you need to press. Now, also think about joining us because we update our members every week of where we've been, where we're going, so we can keep you updated with all the things that are happening in London as well. If you wanna know more, hit the join button just underneath the video. In my view, I think this is absolutely phenomenal. The attention and detail that have gone into making these statues is incredible and it's well worth coming to see. So I hope you enjoy it if you come down like I did. Now, if you've got the odd six meters kicking around, why not make yourself a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Doesn't this look impressive? And again, he's just standard pieces of Lego and those claws look absolutely incredible. But the tail goes on and on. Hence, you've got the wires making sure it's all supported and doesn't fall over. But look at that. Doesn't that look quite fearsome? All made out of sort of beige Lego bricks. Right, if you then fancy doing something interactive right at the end, not only have you got this board you can play on, but you've also got Lego pits as well. How about that? Everyone's thought of. If you're coming up to London, one of the free things you might like to do is go to Horizon 22, which is taller than the Shard and gives you free views over London. And we put that video in the top right hand corner. So if you click on that, we'll see you in there.